Hi guys, it's Andrea. I'm going to do a quick flip through of this book, which is one of the older Jade Summer ones. This is 100 Swirls. <coughs> Front and back. So again, trying different positions in the, the colouring room. See what we can come up with though. So there's 100 different pictures in this book. Um, this one actually came out... It, oh, it came out this year. So it came out earlier this year. So it's not that old. Now I'm just going to adjust the angle slightly so we're more down and see how that is for you there we go so this is the first one they're pretty much all in let's just take it up a little bit so just bear with me while I just slightly adjust this up that's it there we go. so this is a hundred swirls I got this uh, recently as you can see I haven't coloured in it yet now this one you could colour in gel pens, felt pens, or pencils, crayons, anything you want. Look at that. I love these sort of patterny books because they're just nice to sit and colour in bed. Or look at that. Or when you're in front of the TV at night. Usually I do this sort of thing when Jennifer's around because if she scribbles on it I don't mind as much as if I would if it was another one. So you know one of my pictures I put a lot of work into so I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm really liking these patterns at the moment I'm looking forward to I think I'm going to colour in this one next so you might even see a completed picture from it before you actually see the flip through oh I like that those bells are awesome that's pretty cool this is what I like about Jade Summer pattern books. They're just so, so cool. And look, I mean, look at that. It's not that detailed. It's it's a seahorse. But it's not horrendously detailed that you look at it and you think, oh my God. I might even use the twine markers in this one on some of them. Sharpies on another and so on. That That's the thing. You can use whatever you want. Oh, look at these. They're just fantastic patterns. Oh, it's like a, a hummingbird or a, a kingfisher, maybe. Beautiful butterflies. So there's a lot of patterns in this. I like these books that have got like a hundred pictures in that patterns because they're going to take a long time to, to complete. I, you know, you could do one or two a month and see how you feel. And it, it's still taking... If you did two a month, it'd still take you nearly two years to complete the book. A year, a day rather. No, hang on, a hundred, yeah. It would take you two years to complete the book if you did one every every week, rather. And I'm doing something like once, one or two a month. My math is not my strong point, I will admit. But yeah, so if you did two every month, like I do, that would take years to complete. If you did one a week, it would take you almost two years. And sometimes I might colour three or four in a month and sometimes I might just colour one or I might not colour anything at all. I've got lots of pattern books and mandalas and that's a nice dragonfly. So these are absolutely lovely. So although it's swirls, they are pictures. You've got a dolphin here with swirls around it. And here we've got some flowers and some swirly patterns. Now that's a nice simple one to do with gel pens, glitter pens or or something like that I don't know but yeah and and again that one would be nice with pencils and a bit of blending if you wanted to you don't have to I tend to just straight colour in these books pattern books not the Jane Summer books yeah I do like I'm definitely going to colour in this one next I think um, you know I'm going to have it by my bed and if I can't sleep I'll put the light on get out a couple of pens, twine markers or the sharpies are up here and maybe just have a little scribbly calorie thing. So this is just a nice pattern. Aladdin's lamp by the look of it. These just nice simple patterns and 
Jade Summer's got so many of these types of pattern books. Um, magical patterns and there's mandalas and Christmas mandalas. and There's a snail but it's so cute. Whether you do the background or not is up to you. I mean I might on some of them and I might on not on others. That's very detailed. That's a that's going to be a fine liner or a thin, very fine tip one. And yet this one's quite thick lines and thick gaps. So obviously this is a longer flip through because it is a longer book. But if you're into patterns, I just thought you might want to see this one. And um, if you like it, you can pick it up. This one is a bit more, I think it's 7 99 because it's 100 pictures rather than the usual, I think it's 50 um, with, with uh, two of each picture. These are each uh, individual ones, there's 100 different pictures. So definitely worth the price. I've never been disappointed really in a Jade Summer books. And um, you look at the older ones and yes, they're, they're a lot different. The style's different. So while I like Haunted House and Everyday Holiday, they're not my favourite of the books. But for instance, I've got the Ancient Egypt book, which is again one of the ones that was stock. And I think it's fantastic. If they brought out a newer version with some different pictures, I'd buy it, buy it again because I'd want to, to see. Oh, this is a nice one. I'd want to do it. I haven't done anything in the Ancient Egypt book. I will have to because... Um, I want to, basically. But these are stunning. Stunning swirls. That just, yeah. And again, with all Jade Summer pages, the back is black, so if you get any bleed through, you're not actually going to really see it. Still put a page in, obviously, because um, it's it could bleed, depending on what you're using. I mean, if you're using Crayola Super Tips, they're not going to bleed through, but the twine markers do bleed a little bit, I found. And and obviously Sharpies and alcohol markers definitely do. But look at this. I mean, I think these patterns are stunning. They are fun. I'm really going to enjoy doing these. You know, they're not... You know, and then there is a swirls for beginners as well, which I am going to get because, like I said, anything I don't colour in, Jennifer can use when she's a bit older and into colouring. If she gets into colouring. At the moment, she just want, does want to do what Mummy does. So if she sees me reading a book, she wants to read a book. So I have to stop what I'm doing and read to her, which I'm quite happy to do because that's always nice. If I'm colouring, she wants to colour as well. And she comes over and shows me, goes, uh, and then it's like, oh, well, it is one colour scribbled on a page, but, you know, she's two and a bit, so. The fact that she's, she's actually trying to colour in the actual lines of the picture, to me, is amazing. But, yeah, she sees Mummy doing it, she wants to do it herself. So. I really like this book. I don't often look through the pattern books, and I would never film, um flip throughs of them but I thought I'd give it a go on this one I like that little toucan so yeah and like I said these pattern books I do tend to, to colour in order rather than just pick a page um, I find it quite calm in you know not to say oh, which one shall I do I'm just well, I'm going to do this one and I do the front one and that's it it's as simple as that and I work my way through the book in order that way Oh, excuse me, I'm getting uncomfortable. I'm colouring something, I'm not getting stressed out about choosing a page, like um, you can do sometimes. I really like this, oh, that's a nice one. So, yeah, we're getting towards the end now, as you can tell by the, the bend. Wow, look at the detail, now that one's quite a detailed one, but, you know, get your fine liners in there, it'd be fine, it'd be great. There we go. That's got a giant strawberry on it. One for the twine markers, I think, possibly, if I haven't used them all up by the time I get to that one. I might be on my third or fourth set by then. I do like the twine markers. I think they colour absolutely lovely. Oh, and that's nice too. Yep. Do you see what I mean? How wonderful these are. It's an ice lolly. 
It's amazing. These are just such great patterns. Near the end now. It has been a long one. <laughs> Try and get it done before it splits into two. <laughs> and then one. There are lots and lots of patterns. Like I said, this is going to keep me going for a while. I've got a hundred magical patterns and I've not even done ten in there. I, maybe I have done ten, I'm not sure, I'd have to check. But I do tend to colour in that every month. It's one of the ones that sits by the bed. This will probably be another one. Right, it probably won't go back on the shelf. It might do. And there we go. And that is 100 Swirls by Jade Summer. As you can see, I don't know whether it's lost some of its thing. It needs to go up a bit more, I think. But yeah, I'm going to look forward to colouring that. And in fact, I'm going to put that to the side and put it with 100 Magical Patterns and I'm going to start colouring that straight away. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.